Hello my 3D printer peeps, hello my Creality Ender 3 version 3 SE users. I am sitting here with the Creality Ender 3 version 3 SE and today we are going to go over the process of updating the firmware. One of the biggest drawbacks to the SE is the fact that it's running Marlin. Most of Creality's newer printers are running Clipper slash Creality OS via an included Nebula pad or similar touchscreen device. Those new machines benefit from built-in wireless functions and Creality Cloud support, which includes the ability to upgrade your firmware via OTA. While the SE is compatible with the Nebula pad, the stock machine is running Marlin. Unfortunately, that means we will be updating the firmware through old school, rather outdated methods using a memory card. We will need to update both the screen and the motherboard. The machine uses a standard size SD card while the screen uses a micro SD card. That means we need to use two different size memory cards to update the firmware. The easiest way to get around this problem is to use a micro SD card with a full size SD card adapter so we can use the micro for the screen and the adapter for the machine by simply inserting the micro SD into the adapter. Let's park at a computer and prepare this memory card for the update. We will start with the screen. In order to make sure you have the latest version of the firmware, go over to creality.cloud.com, go into search and simply type in V3SE. And we're gonna go ahead and click on downloads. You will notice V3SE brings up a bunch of results. Some are for printers that aren't yours. Look for the V3SE. Look for the highest version number and the latest upload date and download that file. With your memory card installed, right click on the card, click on format, choose FAT32 and default allocation size. Go ahead and press start. Open up this RAR file and you will be presented with a folder named after the firmware version. Double click on that and here you will see the screen files, tjc underscore set. Grab this folder and drag it to your memory card. Your memory card will now have this folder with the screen's firmware inside. Go ahead and remove the card from your computer. With the machine turned off, place your fingers on the screen and firmly press upward. This will dislodge the SE screen from the machine. Turning the screen on its side will expose this micro SD card slot. The micro SD card only fits one way and that is pins up. Gently place it into the slot and push it in till it clicks. Place the screen on the printer and turn it on. You will see the firmware update in progress. Once the firmware update is complete, the machine will reboot the screen and say update succeeded. We will now turn the machine off and return to our computer. Return the micro SD card to the adapter and we will be using the memory card in its full size to update the machine. With the memory card back in the machine, go ahead and delete this folder from the card. You will now return to your zip file and drag the bin file to the root directory of your memory card. That basically means the main directory not in a folder of the memory card. With that file on the memory card, go ahead and remove the memory card and return to your printer. With either your micro SD card inside a full size SD card adapter or an actual full size SD card in hand, locate the memory card slot on the side of your printer just like the screen, it will only fit one way, and that way is pins up. Slide it in gently, and then press until you hear it click, 
and it should stay put. Once again, go ahead and turn the printer on. You will be met with an initial setup screen. Choose your language, press confirm, and the machine will begin setting itself up by doing a nozzle heating, nozzle cleaning, and auto C offset. During the nozzle heating process, you will notice this icon is blinking orange and blue. Once that process completes, you will notice the nozzle cleaning is now blinking orange and blue. Once that's done, setting the Z offset will begin blinking orange and blue. After the initial process, you will hear the cooling fan turn on and the SE will begin to heat the bed. Once the bed is heated, your machine will switch to the leveling process where it will run an ABL mesh. You will see numbers on the screen indicating which of the ABL zones it has completed. Once the ABL mesh is complete, the machine will home and prompt you on the screen. Of course, you have no choice to press the button to confirm. You can confirm your firmware update by using the wheel, clicking on control, then clicking on info. Here you will see my version is 1.0.6. At the time of this video, that is the current version. Your version may be different. And there you have it. We have successfully upgraded the machine and screen firmware on the Creality Ender 3 version 3 SE. If you'd like to move on and free yourself from tedious manual updates like this, consider installing the Creality Nebula Pad. This will bring Clipper to your SE and all future firmware updates will be done automatically over the air via Wi-Fi. You are on the 3D Rundown YouTube channel. I'm Greg Adventure, your instructor on 3drundown.com and installing the Creality Ender 3 version 3 SE firmware was today's adventure. Hey.